There we go. <laughs> they shit. It makes like a little blink sound like dashy, and I, I don't know if it's recording on, so I look down. Anyway, I'm back with another Yap session. Today, we're going to be talking about the, the, the Dragon Ball community. Like, you can split the community literally in half. The niggas that watch the show and read the anime, the niggas that don't watch the show or read the anime. So, this nigga named Extra Low Dope. So, like, you know the meme, right? Where it's like, so, uh, Kaba could be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Bro, this nigga Extra Low Dokkan posted a meme. By the way, I love that nigga. Go follow that nigga on Twitter and Instagram. That nigga funny. He posted a meme, and like, I decided to read the comments because it was on Twitter. So, I'm like, you know, some just possessed me to read the comments. So, I'll go read the comments. Some nigga said, what did that nigga say? Bro? I gotta pull it up because I be fucking forgetting, bro. That nigga, what did that nigga say, bro? That shit had me rolling. I was like, there's no way, bro. This nigga doesn't watch the show. Jack Show said Kaba got trampled by base form Frieza. You know, Kaba's the most shafted character in Dragon Ball Super. I just gotta point that out there. I'm a Kaba fan. I love Kaba. And then Zaki comes in and says, same Frieza that slumped Super Saiyan 4 and Gogeta, kiddo. And Jack Show replies and says, Last time I checked, base kid Goku beat that Frieza. You know, referring to Dragon Ball GT where Goku went to hell, yeah. And then Zaki comes in with facts and says, Super Frieza and GT Frieza are not the same, you know, because Super and GT are two separate continuities. So I'm sorry if that light is so bright. Let me, let me like turn it down a little bit. There you go. Bro, so yeah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Especially with GT being weaker. And Jack Show says, You are right. Super Goku's weaker than Frieza. And then this nigga decorative chicken comes in and says bait, bait used to be believable. And if, if that's bait, fuck it, I get content from it. Bro, do what is texting me? Do niggas not watch the show? Like power scaling in Dragon Ball is like sim it, like it, it could be very simple, it's just fucking complicated. It's just weird, right? But we can all say this isn't a hot take, this is just facts. Super characters are just stronger than GT characters. It is what it is. Fight me. I don't know what to tell you. The feast some niggas be doing is super hell now, bro. God, Goku and Beerus clashing fists that, that could destroy the universe, the entire universe, just by punching. Stop it, bro. Like, in the meme with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, it's like, personally, I think Kaba will still win because Kaba's bag is not that deep. What is bro going to use? Gallic Cannon? Stop it, bro. That nigga Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta can make clones, make confetti out of thin air a hundred times. Big Bang, Kamehameha. S stop it. Stop. Is Kaba stronger? He is. Super power scaling is stupid, so I might have to say yes. I, I mean, he was he was throwing hands with Super Saiyan Vegeta post-resurrection up, so I gotta, I gotta say yes. So I was like, yeah. And like... Yeah, Gogeta would win because he's overall just a better fighter, has a deeper bag, more technique, shit like that, right? But it's like, if you watch the show, Resurrection of F Frieza is on par with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. I mean, Vegeta put the hands on him, but you, you know, he was fatigued, shit like that, right? GT Frieza is losing to base form Kata Goku, who wasn't even taking the fight that seriously. Like, this isn't, this is Super's continuity too. So if we're going based off that, I mean, Blue Goku is stronger than Super Saiyan God Goku. And if last time I checked, boom, Beerus and Goku fighting, Clashing Fist was destroying the universe. So imagine Goku, like, I don't even, like, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, we can all just say, like, Super Saiyan Blue is stronger than 4. That's just a fact. If you still argue to this day, you can't. I, I, like, you can't even say 4 is stronger than God. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. Let, let, let's be honest. Like, no. Stop it. Stop. Respectfully, bro. Stop. I I love all the transformations, but, like, at the end of the day, it really just comes down to, well, I like this character more, so that means that character is stronger than the character I, I don't like. Like, what? Like, it, it, it's, it's so weird. I remember Diddy, The Truth, and Nano. They all did, like, a three-way race on Dokkan, and Nano had got, um... Oh, they did a summon, I think. And Nano had got in Jacko, and Nano was like, um, yeah. Bro, who is... This is me, bro. Like, hold up. Let me... I gotta reply to this. Hold up. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the, the, the Nano shit, right? Nano has said that Jacko could beat, like, Zarbon or Dodoria or something along those lines. If I if I'm if I remember you guys can't correct me. But Nano, I love you, but hell no. That shit is never happening. 
Oh, Jacko took out some fodder Frieza soldiers in Resurrection M. Jacko can't even fly, like, fly properly. Doesn't he use like rocket boots that has like a little fucking gun? Jacko is not touching Zarbon or the Doria. Not even. He's not even touching Bardock. Let's be honest with ourselves. The Bardock would mop the floor with Jacko, and that's like a pre. That's pre Namek. That's pre Sans. That's pre everything. Like, come on, bro. Like, no. You could maybe make an argument for the Doria, maybe, but like. Zarbon who could transform and who was putting the pause on Vegeta after he transformed pre Zenkai actually post Zenkai with Goku and technically Kui I mean, he didn't really get so we don't say Kui but with Goku Vegeta could blow up a planet with the Gala gun and Zarbon just murked them just fodderized them until he got the Zenkai boost which made him stronger like Nano I love you stop it bro no just fucking um Zarbon would have cooked the fuck out of um, Jacko. Like, <laughs> that shit is crazy if you're even thinking about it. But, like, it is, like, that's just power scaling, bro. It, it is what it is. Like, that shit is wild. I don't even think I got anything else to say. It's just, like, bro. Power scaling. If, if that was bait, I fell for it. But I get content from it. So, did I really fall for it? I did. But it was worth it. So, yeah, at the end of the day. Pretty much every Dragon Ball Super character besides like a handful can shit on any GT character. It's not even like, and not, don't misconstrue this and say, oh my gosh, he's saying G, uh, Super is better than GT. It's a, it's a fucking opinionated thing. If you prefer GT over Super, cool. If you prefer Super over GT, it's fine. It's opinionated. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm a Dragon Ball fanboy. I love everything that's Dragon Ball related. Really besides Evolution. I never really watched Evolution. I watched like maybe... I saw it on TV one time and I was like, the fuck is this? And then I went to go watch Dragon Ball Z Kai. So, you know, it is what it is. But like, no, it's an opinion thing, bro. Like, let niggas like GT. I like GT. I think GT is cool. Is it fucking goofy and weird as fuck sometimes? Yes. Especially in the early half. What the fuck were they cooking up with that shit? Where Pan was turning into a dog. Whoever wrote that episode, that nigga needs to be fired. But everything after that, like... Yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out the Twitch link in the description. Where I always be yourself, love yourself, and cherish yourself. Until next video, peace. <gasps> Take care, everybody.